All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the battlefield. Once again, we are playing NTW3, and shots are already shooting, okay? Uh, so we've got the uh, battle scenario of Bordadino, which is a Russian theater battle. Uh, so we're going to have the French versus the Russians. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's absolutely no bias whatsoever uh, to who I want to win. Um, you know, so there's that. No, okay. I know it's a little, I got the Napoleon hat on today. I've got Napoleon watching. Oh, he's watching too. You know, he's, you can kind of see the monitor. He's more looking at me like, dude, you're, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've got, if you look closely, I got, uh, the Scots gray up there. So I'm not completely, uh, completely biased here. So I got to fix the camera here. Shots are already being shot here. Um, so yeah, anyways, right out of the gate, it looks like Russia's opening fire here with uh, some musket fire. And we're going to have a desperate charge from the French cab, which don't even get there in time. They break before they can make uh, comp uh, impact. Um, and that's a, a great little stand there by the the Jaegers here, the Russian Jaegers, but they are breaking, and um, yeah, things are gonna pick up really quick here. And I forgot, I I I, I always forget this. I gotta turn up the sound channels. Test test one two. Gotta make sure my mic isn't too loud either. Anyways, okay. So meanwhile, the French have also moved up some forces as well. They've got some lights here, opening fire. Um, so very nice, very nice, good shots there. Uh, it does look like Russia should be able to kind of gain control of this fight. I do like how it's starting off here untraditionally. It's kind of starting off with um, skirmishers rather than cab, which is usually what you see in NTW3. Uh, but little uh, little thing I forgot to mention in the intro, um, they have to fight in the center. They have to fight in the center of the map. So that's why all of these forces are concentrated in the center. Uh, I like that. Honestly, I like it um, because... Hold on, my, my webcam is, uh, I have moved it. I had a perfect, there we go. Um, I like that because um, it just creates a much more uh, packed in battle, very dense battle. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to see how this one plays out. Where before they had all of this terrain to traverse, traverse, traverse. Uh, but no, they're gonna fight in the center here. It looks like we got some howitzers blasting in the air. Uh, the French are doing a decent job here of uh kind of taking on two units i'm curious if they're going to send up any any support to the front they do have the infantry moving forward and let's not forget they have the artillery which is currently shelling shelling the russian lights so oh yeah oh yeah love the sound of that um so yeah more and more infantry advancing forward we're starting to see the russian infantry as well got the group the boys in green here um, the Russians, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five units of infantry. They are going to be, uh, I like this. They're kind of using the, the in-map kind of, um, what do you call this? A little trenches here for their artillery. I think that's pretty cool. And it's actually more than just aesthetically pleasing. It's also functional. That little hill should kind of cause the rounds to ricochet up. I mean, imagine being one of these artillery crewmen and you see a cannonball just coming straight for you and just it goes right over you you know or just gets lodged in into the dirt um whew, that's gonna be scary that's gonna be scary artillery um artillery is one of those things where it's like it's fun when you're not near the fight and you can fire from a distance but as soon as the enemy artillery starts firing like uh and look at this army formation look at this look how cool this is look at all these troops Oh my gosh, look at all this infantry. This looks fantastic. It looks a lot of fun. Uh, and the, fr <laughs> the French are just like, yo, we're going in thick mode. All right, Operation Thick. Mobilize. Uh, this is an artillery wet dream right here. Uh, they're going to probably be able, I would be focusing on, the, I, would I would go for the center target here and try to just get those shots to rip through all these lines. I, I, as a French, I wouldn't deploy like this, but we'll see how this plays out. It looks like the French did move up some cav as well. We've got some lancers. Uh, is this another? Oh, two units of lancers. Very cool. The lancers look awesome. But I think they were looking for an opportunity to get those Jaegers, but the Jaegers eventually do break uh, because the French artillery is just too much for them. So they're going to go ahead and say, we're done. We're done. We're out of here. 
Oh, the artillery's still shooting at them too as they fall back. So, not a uh, ideal situation for them. But they're done fighting. I'm, uh, yeah, they're gonna get the heck out of there. And now the French are being bold here. They are bringing the fight to them. And the Russians are well prepared. They're going to be using the... They got their lights up here. They've got the line infantry. They even have the artillery up in the front as well. Which I can imagine they're going to start switching over to canister shot. Once the uh, French get into position. Should I do it like this? I don't know. It looks... There we go. It looks like it's. it should be like this, you know? And then I like look all angry. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the French. I mean, what are they gonna do here? Eventually, they've got to, they've got to spread out or reform because they're gonna get a mouth mouthful of canister grape shot, and it's gonna not be fun. Um, yeah. So there we go. The French are lining up here. Oh, this is intense. Look at this battle. Holy smoly. This is intense. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Just looking at it, it's just... I wish more of the battles were like this. kind of. Oh, and here comes the cab charge right in the center. From the French, you have this... Sassu de cheval. Zoudelaire. All right, there they go. They're charging in. And we got a counter charge by the Russians. Meld. All right, there we go. I feel like I got to do some French here with this, this hat on. Even though, you know, Napoleon was coarser. Whatever. You know what? Okay, so here comes a continuation of the Russian charge. They do beat back uh, this Chassis Cheval. And now uh, we've, got, we've got the Lancers charging in. These Polish Lancers. They're charging in. And they are going to push back the Russian Cav. And there's just a crazy amount. A crazy amount. Is that a unit of measurement there? Of bullets whizzing by and the Russians aren't done yet they want more looks like they have Lancers of their own but they're gonna go ahead and actually say mm, never mind we're gonna cancel that fall back cancel that order uh, which is probably for the best because I don't think there's anything there for him in that charge more and more artillery fire trying to shell the advancing French and they've got this one lone French unit you got the 20 21st uh, line uh, infantry that are just like yo whatever whatever we're taking the punches i don't know he's just sacrificing this unit it looks like yeah it looks like he's just gonna sacrifice Ugh, brave souls brave souls and they take uh, instead of a mouthful i mean they did take a mouthful of grape shot but now they're taking a mouthful of lances all right and they uh they do break there i don't know what the plan was there i there's no way in hell they were gonna make it to that artillery uh, more cav is shifting forward, though. We have um, some uh, cav moving forward. Ch Chavaux, Chavaux, Je, Saxon. Saxon. Uh, no, these are Saxons, right? The Germans. Part of the Grand Army or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, they're fighting the good fight right in the center. Again, the Russians are doing everything they can. Look at this. They're just constantly back and forth sending cav into this fight the artillery guys just continue it's like that meme with the dog and the fire and he's like this is fine this is literally what the artillery guy's doing and now he's battling the cab he's like he's like uh get away from the artillery and oh did they break the artillery they do that is huge for the french and now the french are finally starting to stretch out their lines and uh, that's a much better formation. And things getting hot, guys. Things are getting hot. This is such a cool battle. This is playing out so cinematically. Um, and you can see just brute force versus brute force. Look at this. Absolutely stunning battlefield. Stunning. Really cool looking battlefield. We've got the troops in formation. And there's tons of troops. And they're still fighting in the center. The French cab not willing to give up just yet. Oh! One of the cavalrymen gets shot in the head. He goes down. And the cab just, they had enough. But they're healthy enough that they probably will return to the battle. They'll just be an empty shell of a unit that they once were. Here comes another cab charge down the firing line. And once again, Russia coming to meet them. God, it's so epic. It looks so good. So good. Well, they're over there fighting the good fight. Uh, more French line infantry taking on the Russian line infantry. The red rockets, red glare 
in the middle. Got to throw some American in there. Got it. Got got some artillery fire coming down. Now more and more French line infantry advancing upon the firing guns of Russians, and they look pretty good too. It didn't look like they took on too many casualties, so they're gonna get nice and close. And they should watch this, guys. They should get a shot here. Get your shot, Frenchmen. Think about home. Think about that stinky cheese. Yeah, baguettes, croissants, fromage. Uh, so yeah, really good shooting there from the uh, French. Here comes another cab charge. The French will not let up. They're like, no, no, no. Pause, pause, or whatever. Not today. They're gonna charge in and and uh, try to take this artillery artillery position. Oh more just artillery fire going nuts back here uh it looks like the french they were held back right yeah it looks like it but look at this formation this looks so good this looks so good look at the fighting it looks fantastic definitely uh i'm excited because usually what i do is after the replay go back i turn off the little flags then i get some sick screenshots um the Russians are reforming, though. They're showing their backs to the enemy, which is probably not the best decision as they're now. But I guess they just don't like what they see here. They're going to reform. The French are thick, thick lines. And hopefully he's turned off fire at will for these units in the back because they will shoot. <laughs> they will shoot their own, own allies, comrades in the back here. Uh, and that's one of the challenges of, of managing these types of formations is... Sometimes in the heat of battle, you forget to tur either turn on fire will or turn it off um, because of all the chaos. And now the French, uh, they've got the rush. Oh, oh, the advancing French experiencing the wrath of the uh, Russian artillery. My goodness. But they continue to stand strong over here. The Russians uh, are sending in some cab as well. Very cool looking cab. They're taking on uh, dragoons something outside doubt outside doubt is that brute the old i don't know my french is awful it sounds like mush um it sounds ugly um but yeah um very nice very nice little charge there from both sides it looks like russia kind of gained that fight but the french aren't done yet they're gonna go ahead and send in so the 28 dragoons um the big hussars the glow the gloss, the fat hussars, right? Gloss, gloss, whatever. My French sucks, dude. I've been I've been studying French for almost a year, and it's it sucks. Um, here comes a charge, but they charge into square formation um, with some uh, uh, some line infantry that kind of protect the rest of the line as they form square. And my goodness, look at the thick lines over here with Russia. Not as thick as the French, but definitely some nice formations this is such an epic battle i feel like i'm watching a real battle play out you know what i mean real life fight it looks cool oh yeah oh yeah get it get it you know i gotta get used to the webcam because it's like you know i'm talking to you but i gotta make eye contact like hey how's it going all right here comes another cab push seventh hussars the always present is their names. Les toujours présents. Toujours. Les toujours présents. Oh, very cool. Very cool. <laughs> uh, and then the Russians, though, they've got plenty of cab themselves, so they're kind of keeping the French at bay. But to be honest, you know, I feel like the French are making some good headway here. You know, they're get, they're definitely... You know, the Russians, though, have a lot of reserve. Look at these guys. They look like light infantry it almost looks like but the russians are now sending forward some infantry of their own and look at the fight here i just can't get over how cinematic this is i wish all the battles played out like this i mean i know like it's a bit narrower narrower um but and it creates oh and here's a little bit of a bayonet charge here and it, but it creates this like authentic look battle where you have the layers of infantry and it's not so like long lines lot of flanking and stuff but look at the bayonet fight things are getting very personal up here in the front as the french though cannot withstand the russian bayonets and they fall back 
I don't know if that's by design. Oh, the Russians countercharged, and they are winning, though. They have pushed back the French, and the French have to call in reserve forces to re-bolster up this front line, and they're certainly going to get up there. Oh, and then we've got Cav supporting this push as well. Look at this. The Russians are going for a massive bayonet charge right in the center. Massive bayonet charge, but it... It does not last long. The French are with, able to withstand that ocean of green. And now we have a lot of Russian cav pouring in as well. And the French countered that cav. My goodness. Good this is a good battle. Very cinematic. Wow. Wow. The bloodiest battle, man. I swear. Beautiful fight as they continue to fight on here. Things are getting chaotic. I'm seeing a lot of breaking French, but also a lot of breaking Russians as well. Things most likely need to organize soon here. The dust needs to settle and they need to regroup their front lines. I'm seeing Russian banners deep within the French formation in the back there, but we have this French bannerman. Look, it's surrounded by Russian cav. And oh, he goes down and the French banner falls as the Russians are making a devastating push here. Oh my gosh, all this cab. We got some French cab trying to stop it here. Trying to stop this push. While this big mosh pit of cab and infantry continue to fight, we've got infantry in the front line now colliding with bayonets and the Russians just instantly break the French here. The invincible are not so invincible as they break. The French send up reinforcements to uh, bolster, re bolster up those lines. And the French line infantry, things are much calmer over here. You just got your typical line battle. See the Russian point of view. The Russians look a little thin here. They are starting to break, so they might have to send up some reinforcements to bolster up their numbers. But that's kind of where I think the French have the advantage is I think their skill is um, the range, you know, using their guns, firing from a distance where the, the, the advantage for the Russians is close combat. They want to get their bayonets in the fight, in the fight, but uh, they haven't, they haven't. Here comes another cab charge. Um, I think things are settling down here. Look at that absolute carnage. We've got dead horses everywhere. You have uh, fallen soldiers, and they have to fight over. They're shooting over. I mean, imagine being, like, wounded. Not even dead, but wounded in this pile of troops. And bullets are whizzing over you. And you're probably just, like, crawling back to your side. And, oh, but you're trying to crawl back. But look, here comes the French. They're about to march and stab you with the bayonet. I mean, they might do that. I don't know. I don't... You know, I don't think I'd have the stomach to see a wounded enemy soldier just stab him. You know, if he can't fight. But, you know, eat your own, I guess. But look at this advance here by the French. They've kind of definitely reorganized. A little bit of chaos in the center here, as you can tell. The French are uh, needing to regroup. we got some cab pushing forward as well. Like a never-ending... Uh, charge of cav. We have Le Gros Chalou. I don't know what that means. I know it's the fat something. The big Gros. The Grand. Alright, so yeah, big push here by the French in the center with the cab. I don't think it's going to lead to much, though. Maybe they're just trying to disrupt these lines. Well, actually, they're doing some damage, and the Russians are having to countercharge in their cab as well. So, we'll see how this, uh, this progresses here. But, yeah, this is... Oh, and then we got a bayonet charge over here as well. The Russians starting to put a little bit of a push here. Look at this. A little bit of a push here on this far right flank. Um, they definitely need more troops down here. But this is looking really promising for the French. And you can see now that a lot of the reserves have been sent in. They are running out of reserves. Big Russian cab charge here. They are desperate for a victory. They are desperate for a victory. That is for sure. 
they are pushing back uh, this infantry. And if they can get a little bit of a break here, look at this. The Russians, I think, are going to go in with bayonets. I think they're going to get a shot off here. Oh, we've got an allied general, so that is a French general. Angry peasant. Sounds about French. Um, he has died. And, uh... Yeah, we've got we've got the Russians popping some shots. Honestly, I thought they were gonna pop a volley here and um, and charge. But uh, you know what? I think I think they like what they see here. And let's see a bigger picture of what's going on. Oh yeah, a lot of chaos. French Cav up here charging as well. Constant back and forth. This is just like pure. War porn right here. Oh, that's kind of weird to say. But you guys know what I mean. It's just total, like, cinematic war scenes. It's awesome. Very cool. We got Joseph Napoleon. Joseph Napoleon. Is that his unit? He's fighting in the front like an epic Chad, even though he's breaking now. So the French, let's see. Yeah, the French have pretty much used up their reserves. Nice little cab charge by the Russians. Going in after the, um, the infantry. My goodness, you guys see that in the back? Those troops went flying. The artillery is getting spicy here, guys. The French got to be careful. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Don't you know? Sounded kind of like it was from Wisconsin there for a second. Um, nice little charge by the Russians. Oh, and there's still flying Frenchmen. Forget about the flying Dutchmen. It's all about that flying Frenchman. They're getting tossed by this artillery. Absolutely tossed. Mm. And I smell some dinner being cooked downstairs. I can smell it right now. It smells good. It smells good. Oh, yes. Come on, Frenchmen. You're fighting. For those baguettes at home. Oh, look at this. The French are making a bold push up here. Um, this would be their far right far right flank. And they're just going in with bayonets. They're like, ah, charge. Ah, charge. Beautiful. Here we go. Big push, big push. And now, if they take control of this hill, they can start to turn on the Russians and... They're already doing that. And the Russians are like, no, no, no. I don't know how to say no in Russian. All I know is, duh. Duh. I'll learn Russian next. I'll learn Russian next after French. But here's the thing. I'm probably never going to learn French. <laughs> like, to a point where I'm happy. It's too difficult. You French people, the French language is too difficult. You know? Come on. All those verb conjugations, you jerks. Anyways, uh, the French are um, doing a good job here of pushing back the Russians. I honestly thought the Russians were going to make a really bold push here against the French. And we'd see an opposite effect where you'd see the Russians push in up here and then the French push up down here. So far, it's only really the French that are pushing in. And you can see this might be, well, guys, this might be the nail in the coffin. I mean, I, it's it's too early to say. The Russians the Russians could definitely turn this around, but they've got to fix this situation going on here. Pop. Oh, no. there it is. Oh, firing downhill. This yeah, these Russians aren't going to be able to hold much longer. Artillery opening fire. The Russians are kind of on the run right now. Or oh, they're gonna okay, they're making a big push here. This is like do or die. What the Russians have to do here is they need to quickly break the French. Alright, they gotta quickly break the French here. But looking at the French numbers and these beautiful uniforms, I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. I just don't see it happening. But yeah, well, hold on. You got some cav here. This cav, look at the carnage in the center of this battlefield. I mean, oh. Imagine being wounded and and then being trampled by a horse. I'm just absolutely devastating here. This Russian cab is a problem, though. Look at all the casualties in the center. Look at this. Oh. 
is devastating. Ah. So the Russians. They've got some free cav here. I've seen it before. I've seen one cav unit go in and, and wipe out entire armies if they can pull this off just right. The artillery. Oh, another French general. Johnny Le Buffoon. Sounds about French. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the biggest problem for the Russians. The Russians are in massive retreat. They're retreating over on this side as well. And all that's really keeping the French back is this Russian cab unit, which uh, I think they're going to fall back as well. They're going to try to save them. This artillery looks like they're just left to die high and dry. There's nothing defending this artillery. We've got some lights, but the infantry have completely abandoned their post. And now we have a retreat of the Russians. I'm going to fast forward here a little bit as we kind of witness this fallback. And it'll be interesting to see where they reorganize. The artillery, press play here, the artillery is getting charged, they're trying to lumber up the artillery, get it out of here, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do it in time, the French are in hot pursuit, bayonets charging in, and oh, they turned on the NOS, I always love the, uh, the crewmen, oh my gosh, the crewmen here that are pushing the wheels, they like go as fast as the cab. So it's funny to see them run. So they were able to save some artillery, which honestly is good for them. The, uh, the French have them on the run and they are shooting them in the backs. And the question is where do they, I think they're gonna reform with this artillery. And guys, that's gonna be like, if they don't hold here, then they're in big trouble. And look at the French are in hot. They are just moving so quickly. They could probably post up here. Yeah. And oh, okay. Let's slow it down. The Russians, they tried to turn and like slow them down or something. But they just got shot from like four different units and evaporated. And yeah, look at, look at what's left over of this battlefield. Man, it's almost better to look at the bird's eye view because when you zoom in, the grass covers some of the troops here. Look at that. Look at this carnage. The cav. The artillery left behind. All these guns. and Pretty soon there's going to be looters looting this battlefield, taking what riches they can. Absolutely terrible. Terrible. Yes. Europe has a uh, rich history of Europeans killing each other, which is quite sad. I mean, I would say the saddest war is probably World War One. It's like, what do they even fight for? What do they even fight for? <laughs> I mean, it's sad. It's you know, it's a great movie on Netflix. Um, is uh, it's like a remake, All Quiet on the Western Front. They actually did a good job. And Netflix didn't make it. They just published it or whatever. They, maybe they funded it, but historically, pretty accurate. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good um, movie. If you haven't seen it, and I hate Netflix. I think most of their movies suck, but uh, this one was pretty good. And the Russians look like they're in constant retreat. They're going to have to rely on some pretty insane artillery fire here. Uh, and it does look like they are going to make their stand here. Again, just kind of fast forwarding. This was such a cool battle, though. I mean, it's still going on. But, like, this part over here when the two armies met. Oof. So good. So good. And there we go. I think we'll go ahead and slow it down here. As the French have made their way to the front line. The sun beaming down on them. It's the early spring, I think. When was this battle fought? I don't know. Forgot. Definitely not during winter. Wasn't this one of the earlier battles of the Russian campaign? Here comes a Russian charge. Trying to gain whatever victory they can here, but they can't even break these French. It's just not happening. They're going to pinball around and go for the next couple of units here, but the more they push, the less likely they're going to break any of these units. Maybe they're just trying to slow them down. That might be the case. The, French, or the Russians continue to fall back reform with this artillery they've a decent amount of russian infantry way on this flank as well 
but uh, we'll continue to fast forward here as we witness the uh, tactical retreat advancing backwards as I like to call it um, just keeps the morale up for the troops men we must advance backwards okay there we go the French have moved up into position again Here's the 108th the men of Fieu? Fieu? I don't know the, the, the men of F.E.R. I don't know what that means F.E.R. the terrible that nothing can stop the terrible that nothing can stop <laughs> it's kind of cool that's one cool thing like learning a language you can look at the names of these um, names of these units and actually know what it means terrible that nothing can stop cool. grenadiers nice opening fire there Dublist, Dublist, play Dublist. I don't know. Doubt. I, I don't know. I still have a lot to learn, guys. Still have a lot to learn. That's for sure. The brave. <laughs> the Braves. Les Monts. Nice little shots here. Let's look at the Russian side. It's unfortunate we can't see the Russian names. I wish you could. Um, they did that on purpose to make it make it a bit more tactical. You got to be able to judge your tactics based on uniform knowledge rather than name knowledge. Here we go. A little cab charge by the Russians. Just doing everything they can. But guys, this looks like this is over as the Russians' main line starts to collapse. We'll go ahead and fast forward here. Um, the really what's left of the Russian army is going to be right here as they post up desperately inside this little town. The French go ahead and move up their infantry, take on the Russians. The Russians have taken a strategic position inside the building here. We can. Oh, we can't zoom in? Oh. oh, they're just shooting right in the window. It's so cool. Nice little charge there, but it's not enough. The Russians continue to hold on, but really they're just delaying the inevitable as uh, the jaws of defeat continue to wrap around these forces. And we'll go ahead and fast forward here, guys, because I do believe, I mean, this is this is over, so... That was a cool battle. So what do you think um what do you think actually caused the French to win this one or the Russians to lose? What do you think uh this was a bit more of a uh, less of a tactical battle and more of a cinematic battle just the way this one played out. Um but I think it just came down to um well-timed cab charges and infantry charges. <laughs> you can see the Russians still putting up a fight. And there we go. We're finally seeing Russian generals fall. Um who is this? Let's see if he has a Russian. Sniffles. 269. Rest in peace, Sniffles. Uh, his general has fallen. And there you go. The Russians are starting to break here as the French are charging in. And that is going to wrap it up here, guys. For this battle, this was a lot of fun. Definitely unique, I would say. Um, and it's fun every once in a while to have these more cinematic than rather like extreme, you know professional gaming tactics uh just for it's just like eye candy and think we've got a couple generals going in we have killed that general yep, there they go oh, they've they taken control break. of the building general has fallen and here are the stats guys so this was sent in by g i believe but he's not actually in this battle replay um unfortunately i can't see the names of the players um because it's like this weird glitch you can only see them like after the actual battle not the replay um so gg to all the players this was a lot of fun definitely very interesting i'm always looking for interesting replays like this uh that kind of do something new it definitely makes it a bit more new and exciting for new videos um so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed and uh